In the additional member system used in the Scottish Parliament elections, more on that here, everyone has two votes, and a lot of parties have been touting hashtag both votes X or vote X twice, but is that really the most effective way to use your votes? Today we're looking at tactical voting and how voting for someone who isn't your favourite might actually help you achieve your goals. Tactical voting in the UK is traditionally either voting Labour or Conservative as the lesser of two evils, knowing that who you really support will never get in, or um, voting Lib Dem before their vote collapsed uh, when your Labour or Conservative guy doesn't have a chance either. In Scotland it's a lot more complicated. Back before independence was popular and the SNP actually had chances of winning elections, you could, they could get votes from both Labour and Conservatives trying to keep each other out of the UK Parliament. In the Scottish elections, the Lib Dems could sometimes get votes from all three parties trying to keep each other out for the balance of the Parliament. Now that independence is more popular, you could have all sorts of weird unionist and pro-independence tactical voting. So pro-independence tactical voting, that's the main one that's getting talked about at the minute. The SNP has been touting hashtag both votes SNP. As well they should be, they want to get as many votes as they can so they can have as many seats as they can, whether that's the most efficient for the independence movement or not. As regional list takes into account constituencies already won in the regions when calculating the list seats, and since the SNP are on course to win almost every constituency in the country, they need a massive amount of votes on the list to even win a single seat, whereas every other party, if they haven't won any uh, seats already, could be looking at as little as 6% to get one of the regional seats. That's according to a study headed up by Professor John Curtis. This means that if independence is your goal and you're willing to sacrifice every other policy for it, your best vote is to vote SNP in the constituency and then vote either for the Greens, the second largest pro indie party, or another pro indie party on the list. But should you really do this? Only if the main thing you care about above all else is independence. Let's be honest, other than that, the SNP don't really agree with the Greens on very much things. They disagree on income, council and aviation tax, and the SNP are yet to fully ban fracking. The Greens are considerably more left-wing than the SNP are, as are most of the other pro-independence parties. So, one vote SNP, one vote Green? Only if you believe Scotland can't solve its problems as part of the Union, and you're willing to bet the Parliament on it. I'm Keith, and I've been whining about tactical voting.